Hi everyone. Today I have Lakshya Chauhan with me, and he recently got a fully funded PhD offer from Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany. First of all, Lakshya, many many congratulations to you. Thank you a lot, sir. Yeah. So actually, I want to tell my viewers, Lakshya is not from IIT, not from NIT. Still, he is able to get fully funded PhD in Germany. So Lakshya, that's a very great thing, and actually I got very few students who are not from IIT and IIT, but still able to get fully funded PhD. I want to know each and everything about your profile. So can you quickly introduce yourself, like your bachelor's and master's from where you did? Yeah, uh, sure, sir. First of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Lakshya Chan. I'm from Manali, Himachal Pradesh. So I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. From a regional uh, government engineering college, I named as uh, Mahatma Gandhi Government Engineering College. Uh, after finishing up my bachelor's in mechanical engineering, I opted for GATE uh, in 2019, uh, but I did not qualify in that year. Mm-hmm. So after one year, I reappeared, and luckily I just qualified it with a minimal score, uh, and my okay. GATE score was just uh, 377. so i did not get into any iits obviously uh, but i got into one of the one of the very good research college uh, that is a defense institute at advanced technology pune uh, so there i did my masters in materials engineering and after doing that um, i continuously applied for uh, phd positions all over around the world and i got a uh, positions from few other universities also so after going balancing everything i I decided to opt for KIT, uh, Germany. Okay. okay, I have specific question for you. So during your masters, did you do any coursework, and what was your CGP in that? Ah uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, there was a coursework. One year coursework was there, and one year for uh, thesis and your research, okay. research. So and during that, and what was that, your CGP? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. my CGP was nine point three one. Okay. So uh, do you think when you are applying for PhD the CGPA matters like if you have very high CGPA then you will get an edge from other students uh, I would say uh, definitely sir it uh, does help to have a good uh, number to show in the first uh, part of your CV but it is mm-hmm. not the last thing uh, if you have a very good research experience I would say uh, it will also it's also add up to your uh, like mm-hmm. uh, getting better chances uh, into mm-hmm. these colleges but definitely it helps to have okay. a good cgp mm-hmm. and second thing i want to know what was your research project and did you write any publication during your masters i want to know all about your project ah uh, yes sir uh, so during my masters uh, i did my project on high entropy alloys uh, these mm-hmm. are a very new kind of alloy system so we were working on designing materials for elevated temperature applications so i mm-hmm. studied the oxidation behavior of the alloy system and during that period i was working with all the phd students in my research lab so i contributed to every uh, one of them their project and they gave me like authorship in almost uh, every paper they wrote so right now currently i've got just one co-authored publication that is published and uh, three research paper are under review uh, out of those three one is my first authored paper so mm-hmm. after completing that uh, masters uh, i joined there itself as a junior research fellow So I was okay. working for past five months. There. Okay, that's great. Okay, now come to PhD part. First of all, when you decided for PhD, did you write any exam before applying for PhD positions, or you don't write any exam? Yes, sir. but I, I did not apply. I, I did not write any exam as such before applying. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I did write uh, ILTS uh, after okay. I applied. Yes. After you applied, or after you yes, got the offer? Yes, after after I applied. After I applied. Okay. was it a requirement for kit or in kit not you in, can apply without ielts sir in kit they did not ask for uh, any like particularly ielts uh, okay. i did give them like a medium of instruction certificate from my masters okay. uh, so okay. that was sufficient for them so people can go to europe without writing any gre any ielts any tuesday right definitely so they can go but it does help if you have ielts and gre mm. Okay. The next thing I want to know, like, when did you decide to uh, go for PhD, and how you approach this process? How you shortlist the professors? Can you tell me about that? Sure, so I'll tell you like the complete journey of mine. So it all mm-hmm. began like after I gave my gate examination. So it was very low score for like to get into any of the colleges. So I did watch some of the Yopedia videos for quite some time. Been uh, like a consumer uh, like mm-hmm. this. Uh, 
interactions and all. Uh, mm-hmm. And that moment, I decided there was one video from your page yeah, that uh, explained how to be like sh- surely get a PhD abroad. Like there are few mm-hmm. steps that you need to make sure, like have a good mm-hmm. CGPA, have good research work, write a like mm-hmm. couple of exams are there. So I used to f- regularly follow up with these things. So I was pretty clear, pretty much clear as soon as I joined my master's that I want to go for a PhD. So I started earlier, early itself. So I was engaged in continuously multiple projects. I did research work, tried to get as much experience as I can get. So I did not opt for any PhD in India during uh, like uh, the summer section, summer session. So after that, I started applying. Uh, mm-hmm. I wrote uh, the first email to one of the US professors. Uh, mm-hmm. And I did have an interaction with you for that. So I got mm-hmm. a reply in my first mail itself. Oh, so I had an interaction. Uh, so I also asked you for uh, like uh, there was a uh, interview was there. So we did mm-hmm. have an interaction and you told me about how to write that uh, overall mm-hmm. PPT and how to present it. So mm-hmm. even that professor uh, was willing to hire me, but I opted for this university. So I was continuously okay. applying. So I got mm-hmm. one more offer from Estonia. Uh, oh, uh, Tallinn, Tallinn, Tallinn Institute. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, they were offering very low scholarship. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so in the winter session, I applied in all the IITs, IIC, and mm-hmm. luckily I got into IIC of Bangalore also, IIT Kanpur oh. also, IIT uh, Delhi also, IIT Bombay also. So I had like multiple options, and I was yeah, really now, confused. Okay. Yeah. Now have you have many many offers? <laughs> yes. Okay. It was hard That's for great. me to yes, uh, select yeah. between these. Okay, so now come to this particular KIT. Like, when did you approach? Did you approach the professor or directly you apply for the open position? I did not approach the professor, sir. I directly okay. went to the website. Uh, there was a portal. I directly applied mm-hmm. to the portal. So okay. after mm-hmm. yes, after some time, I received an email from them that they want. Uh, they were very inter- very much interested in my profile and they wanted mm-hmm. to have a formal interaction with me. Okay, so when you applied through the portal, what documents you submitted? Uh, there was a requirement was for, I gave them a CV, a cover letter mm-hmm. was there. Uh, mm-hmm. Some references also I added. Uh, mm-hmm. Other than that, uh, miscellaneous documents were also there, like uh, these uh, method of instruction, me- uh, like medium of instruction certificate. But other mm-hmm. than that, uh, I think that I think was transcripts it. are also required. Yes, right? the transcripts, transcripts, obviously. Mm-hmm. Those were also there. Okay, so once you applied, application was closed. After how much time you get the interview call? So because the deadline was very close, uh, so I mm-hmm. got uh, the interview, uh, like the mess email after I guess one month itself, okay, within one, one month. month. So when you had interview, how many professors were there? What or like I want to know your interview experience. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so there were two professors. Uh, mm-hmm. Both are going to be my like supervisor. One is going to be the main supervisor, and the other guy is going to be my co-supervisor. So it was uh, nothing technical. They did not ask mm-hmm. me any technical questions. Just okay. they asked about my research background, what I did. So mm-hmm. in that uh, in that I did not even present any presentation. I just uh, like verbally told them about what I was do- what I have been doing for the past year and so, and what kind mm-hmm. of research experience I had. So after mm-hmm. that, they started asking me like more or like HR questions, like why do you want mm-hmm. to join PhD? Whether okay. uh, why do you think that Germany is a good option? These kind of questions. So how you answered that question? I'm very curious. <laughs> yes, sir. for me, PhD is like something I always like. I want to go into academia. So okay. I answered uh, that uh, it has always been uh, like it is a fulfilling experience for me. So I want to learn mm. and share that knowledge with uh, people coming generation. I want to research. I want to continuously indulge myself into discovering something new and try to mm. add something to humankind. So okay. And that why was, particularly Germany? Yes, sir. Why particular Germany? Because uh, I have experienced, uh, like, I've been in touch with many PhD uh, people in India and I've seen them work continuously endless hours like Monday to <laughs> Sunday, there's no holiday. In particularly, there's no holiday in India as such. And you got scared. <laughs> yeah, not scared, okay. sir. I'm, I'm, I'm very, uh, like, I'm open to hard working, but I want mm-hmm. some balance because mm-hmm. if I'm giving four or five years of my life to something, uh, I should have a little bit balance. And this is these are like prime age mm-hmm. time, like 25 to yeah. 30 is like very crucial year. Right. So I wanted some balance in my life, also some good research experience. So I opted for Germany. Because uh, like my supervisors also told me that they are very strict with uh, timings. 
uh mm-hmm. like deadlines and everything so they will work from monday to friday and they will not mm-hmm. at all work on saturdays and sundays okay so yeah, it's so uh, yeah so they they are very good at management managing those time so they are able to get more out of those five days than the person who can who will be continuously working for seven days so i want okay. to to have a balance let me let me tell you one thing from my phd experience it's just a myth sometimes you yes, have to work exactly so true so true that's true okay so uh, when you get the offer like how much scholarship they are giving and for how much duration they are giving the scholarship yes uh, so they are giving me uh, 3100 euros 3140 okay. to be exact as a gross salary mm-hmm. so it is tax okay. it is taxable it's uh, okay. and they are they are offering it for 3 years Oh, it's for three years, and your yes. project is fixed. Like whatever you are yes. going to work, it's fixed. Yes, okay. it's fixed. Okay. And uh, do you know about Germany? Like, if you are doing PhD, can you do part time along with that, or it's not possible? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Since my employment is seventy five percent, so there are different okay. scales. Ah, uh, like okay. they call it like T T V L thirteen or something like that. So in mm-hmm. that uh, employment scale, uh, my contract is seventy five percent. so that is okay. the highest that is offered to a phd student because mm-hmm. they considered it to be as partial employment so i think so i'm not sure but i think so i can work for a few hours like that those 25% mm-hmm. i can work mm-hmm. but i don't think okay. so i will get a chance to work okay it will take yeah, a lot right. of time mm-hmm. now i have one last question for you uh, your case is very typical you are not from iit you're not from nit and uh, you wrote gate exam but your gate score is not good many people are thinking in india like if you are only from iit if you are only from nit and if you are brilliant then only you can get fully funded phds in abroad what is your experience and what do you think is the most crucial step if you want to get phd abroad uh i would say first of all you have to make your mind if you mm-hmm. want to want to go abroad decide it and try to work towards it continuously regardless whether you're getting it or not because uh it might take some time maybe Uh, like four months, five months, six months, but you'll get there. You have to continuously work, and you have to make few checklists for yourself. Like, mm-hmm. what are your short-term goals? Like, uh, if you are in your first year of masters, try to uh, be very clear. Like, you don't want to go for uh, jobs. Uh, then mm-hmm. just focus on research work. Uh, try to opt for multiple. Like, try mm-hmm. to indulge yourself with more of your PhD students. They'll help you a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. They will. they might add your names to say their publication also if you have contributed certainly enough to your project so if you have those experiences uh, and you continuously uh, you you're focused about what you're going to be uh, doing so keep on applying keep on approaching people uh, mm. build a community around you uh, who are also working towards that so your idea was one thing uh, i looked into multiple mm. people's getting succeeded uh, with minimal mm. scores and all that so that helps you motivate Uh, there was definitely a time uh, where i thought that uh, i will not get into any anywhere like couple of months like three or four months back i, I had no uh, no position nothing so i was a little disappointed but uh, things things works out works out if you put yeah, yeah. your heart into it i think your case is very similar to mine uh, when i was writing it i also have very low gate score but somehow i got into iit through your pd only uh but i observe one thing in iit there are many students who got all india rank 250 300 but they are very disappointed during your, their masters uh if you talk about me from the very first day i was very clear i, I have to go for phd and i worked towards it i wrote publication i also collaborated with people who are writing yes. papers so i think this is clarity of mind is very very important if you want to go abroad yes. and keep on trying that's a very good thing and i want lakshya uh, you to guide your juniors who are joining your pedia and who wants to go for definite. journey yeah definitely and congratulations to you once again and get Thank your you i hope you will get visa soon and the next interaction we will do in germany when you are in germany <laughs> definitely sir definitely it was very <laughs> nice to be a part of your pedia and uh, genuinely i'm very thankful to every one of you like the whole community not just the uh, mentors and the organizer but whole community as such thank you so much for being on your pedia platform thank you thank you sir